you guys so i already have my brows and my um concealer on my lid now um this time i used the p louise base and for the brows i used my uh precise brow pencil from benefit in the shade four um for today's look i am going to be playing with the morphe 39s palette and um it looks like this kind of just matches my hair so we're gonna be playing with that palette today and you guys my contacts are from pretty fabulous um check them out i'm not sponsored by them or i don't get pr from them but i really do love their um contacts and my braids were braided by my sister-in-law who also does my nails ruby 296 26296 i'll leave all the links down below to the social medias of my contacts and the person that does my nails and my hair so we are gonna go ahead and get started and the first shade that we are going to start off with is going to be this pink one i don't know the names you guys because i threw away the the label and i'm going to be using this uh i think this is an eco tools brush uh i'm not sure the number so we're going to go ahead and get started let me give you guys a close so you guys can see what i'm doing i'm gonna do this eye on camera for you guys i'm gonna do the other eye off camera for ig y'all know how i roam so we're gonna put this all over our crease and we're gonna start building it up and we're gonna add it in little circles okay little circles little circles i kind of want to yeah. intensify this yeah. Shh. you guys please don't mind any noise in the background my kids are with me This is a really pretty pink shade. And we're gonna start building it up. Just build it, build it up. I mean, it depends how colorful you want it. I want it to stand out a bit. And we're trying to bring it as close to the brow bone as possible. And I am not extending this color out here because I want this to be more of like a circular versus a more triangular look or an angled look. I want this to be more so all over the roundness of my lid. I could drag it, but you know, I always drag my look, so I'm trying not to drag it too much. And once you have that shade on like that we are gonna go ahead and work we're gonna work in this darker pink on our crease we're just going to focus at this pink one more so on our crease to create that dimension and the way that i apply it is i just automatically place it in the middle and then i just drag it in wiping motions left and right left and right just because i want this to be right there like that you guys see that dimension you see the dark one but you still have that blush one up here that's what you want Mommy. 
And remember, we're, trying, we're still trying to keep this circular. Now, if you've kind of lost that first shade, you can go ahead and take your first brush with a little bit of product and just blend lightly. You guys, the key to a perfect eyeshadow look is definitely the blending. You have to blend. You have to blend and be patient. It's not so much about the quality of the brush. It's more so of the time you dedicate to your look. Perfect. All right. So, now that you have that, I'm going to take this um, blending elf blending eye brush. And I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this purple here. Or maybe I should go, I'm gonna go in with this one first. And try to deepen. Okay. And again, we're going to focus this right, just right below that pink. And in order to achieve that, we're gonna start stamping it. We are gonna stamp, stamp, stamp in order to create that dark effect. No! And don't be afraid to go right on your lid because we're gonna cut the crease anyways. Bye bye. And then we're gonna start blending. And we're gonna blend outwards. We're gonna blend outwards. We're not blending up, we're blending out. Ew, okay, then you just fart it. Okay. okay. We're blending out in a circle, out in a circle. Just like that. You don't want too much of it. We're gonna go back again with that pink one and we're just going to lightly blend the edge. Whoop. You don't want these colors to get lost. You still wanna see that dimension. And you guys, I like to hold my brush from the tip to have a really light hand. Something that works very good for me, not only for my claws, but for me. Okay. We're gonna go in again with our blush color and we're just going to lightly blend. Little circular motions. Kaden, are you good? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just like this. Just like this. I'm going to be taking a Morphe, a Morphe times Jeffree Star JS13. And it's a really small. Um. Ah, uh, Kaden. Okay it's a small, nice, detailed uh, blending brush focus but it looks like this and i'm going to be taking this purple one now and i'm gonna focus it right on the crease and by doing that i'm just going to start 
stamping, okay? And I'm and as the same thing as the shadow we did before, we're gonna stamp and blend outwards. So we're not going up, we're going out. See that? That's exactly what you want. Don't touch, don't touch. Go over there. See how I'm creating that circular look? I'm not extending it out, I'm just making it circular. You could definitely stand it out if you want to, if that makes you um, you. I already have a pretty big eye. Let me put my phone on vibrate. Um, I have a pretty big lid, so extending it just makes my lid, you know, obviously in my eye more um, stretched, but I don't want that. I want to just keep it. Keep it in a circle. I kind of want my eye to be opened up, not stretched out. Yeah. I'll see that. So we're gonna just keep on putting that purple. And we're gonna continue to deepen it up. I'm gonna take my blending brush. This is the first brush that we applied that blush with. I'm gonna grab a little bit of that blush and I'm gonna to blend right out here. I'm going to take this Makeup Shack T4 brush. It's a very big blending brush. And I'm just going to blend the edge. It does not have any product, you guys. I just want to blend, blend, blend. Okay. 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 And I'm going to go ahead and take this blue-purple here from the palette. Just a little bit. Don't go too crazy. And we're going to focus it right out here. Okay. Right out there. And we're going to just lightly bring it in. Lightly. Just like that. Now, I'm going to cut my crease. And you guys know I love this P. Louise um, crease brush. It is my go-to. I'm going to go ahead and take my P. Louise base. Put some in the back of my hand. And what I like to do to my brush is I like to... You know, extend it if it's a little too dry. I like to take any setting spray or fix plus, just lightly spray it and give it that perfect shape, like that. Now, 
if you want to try to make things a little bit easier just a little bit easier you can start off with a nice um, pencil brush and this is the morphe e86 so let me show you guys what i mean so you guys can get like a more precise cut crease okay so i put some product on my brush and then let me show you guys just like that I set like I start making a line just so that I know where I want and the way I like to start is I take right of that corner inner duct my inner tear duct and I just stretch it oh should I just flip it out Just like that. Let me try to fix what I just caused. Let me just try to clean that. So you can do that but I since I have a big eye I like to make my life easier so I just take my nice Louise brush and I just stamp my product and drag it Just like that, we are going to go back to our first purple shade and we're going to darken this. We're going to try to erase that line. Lightly. And we're still keeping that circle form. go in with this one and start adding that darker purple blue one and I'm expanding it inward Can I help you? You need to wash my clothes. Okay. Do I put them in the washer? Mm hmm. Okay. Oh, we need to do this one. Okay, I'm gonna go in with my um brush, the BH Cosmetics number six yeah. brush, and I'm gonna go in with that like darker pink that we had at first. Uh, we're just going to start blending that. Yes. Um. Yes. 
Yes. Remember, this is a, like I said, it's a whole process, so you have to be patient with it. We're going to take again that deeper purple, and we're going to stretch it back in. And I am pulling it in, okay? I'm going to take that darker blue purple. Mom. Mom. Yes. Alright. So, we're getting there. Okay, well, instead of blending out, we're blending in. We're blending in, so I'm blending in. Okay, with the same brush, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it. Always have a towel to clean your brushes. I'm gonna take that darker pink, that second pink that we used, and I'm going to just... Thank you. Okay. And some of our bristles are in there. Okay. The dark ones. And we're just going to blend that pink. Just like that. And we're going to take our first pink. And I have a Sigma large shader brush. This is an E60. I'm going to take that pink, the first blush that we started with, and I'm going to pat it. That's okay. And I'm, but it's okay. Just put it away. And I'm going to just pat that blush color right on my inner lid. Just pat it. You kind of want to create like an ombre effect, so that's exactly what we're doing. Okay. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this so much. Okay, once you guys have done that, we are now going to take our duo lash glue. And we are going to use a really fine glitter. Some iridescent light purple glitter. And you guys, I love using dual lash glue for this. Um, just when you're using it, make sure you clean up a lot of it. That way you do a really nice fine line where you have the cut crease. Um, so let's get started. And you want to do a nice a fine line and that way the glitter will only stick to that line that you've made. Okay. 
And I'm gonna be using the tip from another liner to grab that glitter. Okay. See, the glitter will only stick to that glitter line you've made. Continue to do this to the oh, rest of our cut crease. And do this patiently because this can go south really quickly. Just like that. Can you see that? Super beautiful. Yeah. And like I said, to make it extra cute, I'm going to use a couple of I'm gonna use a little bit of chunky glitter. You know what? Let me do my liner first because then that way I know where to put it. So let's create this liner. Are you guys? And you guys know I love my tattoo liner by Kat Von D. Honestly, she has bomb ass liners Let's see. I'm gonna take my mini one because it's newer and I'm not creating a wing you guys I'm gonna do a round liner okay You guys, the way that I do my liner is when it's a round liner, I always start from the inner corner. When it's a wing liner, I always like to start from the back. And so this time we are going to make it thin and open up to create a nice dimension with the dark purple that we have going on here. Can you see that? Okay. Mm -hmm. 
hot. Oh my gosh, okay. We're going to curl our lashes for a few seconds. Give that to me, my dad. No. Wait. Okay. And I'm gonna be using my Go Big or Go Home mascara by KBT Vegan Beauty. I really am loving this mascara. Yes, you can trade it. I'm keeping the reindeer one. Have you saw? Yeah. Yes or no? Just like that. And for today, I am going to be using these Lux lashes. You guys, Lux lashes will now be known as La Mas Chingona Beauty. Um, they have decided to change their whole company name and everything, but... I'm going to use these ones in 22. And I've already put a good amount of glue on the lash strip. And I think I show you guys on every video that I make. But what I like to do is I like to take a mirror. Place it down. And I don't like to look down. I like to just put my eyes down. So I just look down and that way i know where exactly where my lash is going to go that's just how i like to do it so mirror my vision and bam they automatically stick where they need to stick and then i just you know secure them Alright you guys, I am back and I've already finished the bottom of my eyes. Let me just tell you guys really quickly what it is that I have. So I use the same palette. And first I took the pink one, then I took this light purple one, and then I finished it with this. Um, I have uh, like a neon yellow color inside my waterline. And for a little pop, I decided to use, from that same palette, I used this shimmer, this shimmer, and I popped in little tiny stars. So I put a little glitter star. And for highlight, I am wearing these. Where are you? Where are you? Okay, I don't know where it is. It's, um, I'm wearing my uh, Jeffree Star Choking on Eyes highlight. That's what I have on there. For the lips, we are going to finish with some androgyny. You guys know I am obsessed with androgyny. I love it. Perfection. And there it is, you guys. We are going to finish with some um, Jeffrey. Wait, yeah, some Jeffrey Star Berry Mist. I love this stuff love. and uh, yeah you guys that is going to conclude today's look I am loving it and yeah you guys if you guys like this look and would love to recreate it tag me on IG follow my social medias I'll leave everything down below if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and please if you're not Part of the secret world fam what are you waiting for join us it is fun i do a little bit of everything um and with that being said see you guys on my next video Bye.